Right now in Georgia, 45,000 children are experiencing homelessness, which can make education almost impossible. But a school in downtown Atlanta is working to change that. Tracy A. McPeer spent the day at the school and talked to parents about how this school has changed their lives. Public schools have zoning restrictions based on where you live, but the Boyce L. Ansley School is a private school with homeless students from across Metro Atlanta. I was behind three months. I was facing evictions back to back. My lights was off. When Kiara Christian's daughter, London, started kindergarten at the Boyce L. Ansley School, immediately the school stepped in to help. They paid it up for three months, gave me an extra month so I can be able to get back on my feet. They paid my light bill. They gave me gas cards. This school on Ralph McGill Boulevard is a private school, so there are no address boundaries and tuition free, funded by donors for 60 homeless children, grades K through three across the metro. We have children in Clayton County, Fulton County, North and South, DeKalb County, Gwinnett County, Cobb County. Principal Leah Skinner says they take a whole family approach, addressing the trauma of poverty and homelessness with social workers and counselors for the students and parents. So one of the requirements for our family is obviously to create their family success plan and to work their plan of success and, and a part of that is attending a monthly workshop so it could be a workshop on finance relationship building the school provides transportation with buses gas cards and marta passes and is expanding as more students enroll london is now in the second grade president of her class and her mom is now a manager at walgreens she's been able to keep a budget increase her credit score take her family on trips and is now working toward buying a house but London will remain at the Ansley School. Just because you get housed does not mean that you are all set and you're stable for life. It is a, it's what we call ebb and flow. And so we are that safety net for them. Learning as a family to succeed. And to be proud, like I did it, like I did it. They'll add a grade every year until they reach K through eighth. Then their goal is to have all of these students enroll in Cristo Ray, the Jesuit charter school down the street for high school. In downtown Atlanta, Tracy A. McPeer, 11 Alive News. A heartwarming story. We love mm -hmm. seeing people succeed. Awesome.